GTA Online is one of the biggest multiplayer games of all time in video game history even to this day. It consistently sits at the top of every popularity chart out there. Massive multiplayer experience. It was released as part of Grand Theft Auto 5 and while it did have a rare, very rocky start, let me know if you actually remember the launch. It quickly turned into the premier GTA experience for the modern day. Now Rockstar's continued support for the game for almost a decade now. It's even gotten to the point where the fans of the series they're starting to get a little annoyed with Rockstar due to how much money they've put into online without giving us an update on GTA 6. Welcome to the page everybody, Chaos here. Today we're going to talk about two specific things when it comes to GTA 6 and GTA Online 2. That's right, we have leaks about details when it comes to GTA Online 2, Online Version 2, whatever you want to call it, and a release window for GTA 6. So sit back, Enjoy the video. Let me know if you guys are excited about this. What you think is real. What you think is just kind of floating in the wind. Drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And as the official announcement of GTA 6 draws closer, which we have been predicting that it's probably going to be this summer, there's things happening. I mean, defaults are starting to leak. The future of GTA's multiplayer ambitions. And uh, we've got a pretty substantial leak regarding GTA Online 2. Yeah. So take it all of a grain of salt, of course, because none of this is confirmed, but it's a pretty legitimate leak if you ask me, so we're going to go over it. Now, quick recap. Online launched October of 2013. Shortly after the launch of GTA 5, tons of technical issues. Rockstar came out with patches pretty quickly, and as time went on and the updates improved, the experience improved. It became Rockstar's most profitable endeavor. Up until this point, there have been conflicting reports about what was going to happen to GTA Online when GTA 6 comes out. Some people say 6 will basically include a big expansion with the existing GTA Online, similar to how each new Call of Duty game comes out with a big expansion for the free-to-play Warzone game mode. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. The more likely scenario is a full reset with a brand new GTA Online experience. I mean, we don't want what happened to Warzone, the original Warzone, to happen to Online. It got bloated. It was not made for next gen or for multiple games to kind of uh, osmosis into it. I mean, we're gonna call this GTA Online 2. With the shift to new hardware and the addition of lots of new gameplay mechanics to the upcoming GTA 6 game, it makes total sense that Rockstar would wanna just start over fresh slate with a new multiplayer playground. Although I'm sure they're still gonna support the first GTA Online for a few years because there's money there. So the intel today comes from a prominent Rockstar insider who goes by Tez2. And Tez found a number of little details in the big GTA 6 leak that we got a while back that seemed to suggest that the new game's version of GTA Online is going to look like this. In a Rockstar forum post, Tez claimed that the new online is likely going to feature 30-person lobbies, as evidenced by a couple moments in the leaked gameplay footage where there's a pop-up screen that says 2 of 32, which represents two people in a 32-person lobby. Now, many of you probably know, that GTA Online and Red Dead Online function this way as well. That 32-person lobby is actually a 30-player lobby with two slots saved for the spectators. So a lot of GTA 6 seems to be built upon the framework of Red Dead Redemption 2, so it would make perfect sense for the online functions to borrow the lobby sizes and the logic. Tez also claims that something structural like lobby sizes would have needed to be set rather early in development of the game, so if the gameplay footage from May of 2022, if it's there... It's very unlikely that it's going to change a lot before the game launches. So what do you guys think? I mean, it's pretty obvious Rockstar is using a lot of their work from Red Dead 2 as a skeleton or infrastructure for GTA 6, including some animations and mechanics as seen in the leaked footage. But how do you feel about 30-person lobbies coming back for a third game in a row? I mean, I think some people in the Rockstar community were hoping for a larger, grander experience. Maybe lobbies of 50, maybe lobbies of 100, especially the Vice City map is going to be as big as we think it is. I mean, I don't know. Then again, the 30-person lobby worked perfectly for GTA Online and Red Dead Online. It's kind of intimate, so if it's not broken, don't fix it. I don't know. What do you guys... I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Do you want bigger than 30-person? That's what I need to know. Now, let's talk about the actual game, GTA 6, and reveal dates. Now, uh... I know. Everybody has a video on this. It's constantly changing, and it's constantly being moved around. Now, the intel comes from Tom Henderson. Tom has leaked countless things accurately in the past, and he's mainly known for his connections to Activision and Blizzard, although he obviously has way more connections in other avenues of the gaming industry. 
In a recent publication, Henderson stated, Rockstar is going to go huge with the official unveiling of Grand Theft Auto 6. Why wouldn't they? And it's expected to be going down by the end of 2023, this year. Now, most industry insiders have agreed. GTA 6 is not likely going to hit the market until 2025 at the earliest, so releasing the first official trailer in 2023 seems like a good idea. It will give the gaming community enough time to properly get hyped for it, but it's also not too far away, and people won't get too annoyed at how long they have to wait. Now, me, I am hoping for a holiday 2024. That's just me. In the reports we talked about the other day about the, the execs in the suits above saying we're not pushing it off anymore, they want that GTA 6 money, I'm kind of hoping that's where we go. Now, there's been a recent issue in the gaming world where companies drop a trailer for a game and then they don't actually release the game for another five plus years, which is absolutely BS. Now, part of that is obviously due to the global lockdowns that prevented work from getting done on the games, but there's other publishers that insist on revealing games as early as they can, and then they just ride off the hype and the coattails of the IP for three to four to five years without releasing any new games. Come on, Microsoft. Doesn't seem like Rockstar is intending on doing this. As Tom Henderson says, they're going to do a massive reveal in 2023. In fact, he even called it the greatest game announcement of all time. That's a high bar to set. That's a high bar to clear. But if anybody can do it, it's Rockstar, knowing they may have the biggest game of all time on their hands. It would also line up pretty well with Rockstar's track record of announcing games two years before they launch. GTA 5 and Red Dead 2, both massive commercial successes. Henderson stated there will be a number of gameplay details revealed with the announcement as well as some of the new characters and the return to Vice City. Now, most of the details have already been confirmed in that massive 2022 Rockstar leak, but Rockstar themselves claim the stuff that leaked was from an earlier build of the game, was obviously a work in projects or progress, so it's probably going to be a lot tighter than what we think. And if they're talking grand scale, usually you have events when it comes to multiple games, like E3 and Sony State of Play and Xbox's events that they have and Nintendo's events, but Grand Theft Auto 6 carries enough weight it can literally have its own reveal event. Not just a trailer dropping, but an actual event. You started off with the world premiere of the trailer. Then we talk to the devs. We get some backstory inside on what's going on with the campaign, the new features, everything. Uh, I feel like if they're going to do this big, this is going to be uh, its own event. Now with the 2023 announcement, likely trailer gameplay. I mean, they could drop the logo and the internet would break. It would make it pretty clear that Rockstar intends on releasing the game by the end of 2025 at the latest. Now, they're a company that likes to keep their projects under wraps for as long as possible, which is the main reason why the leaks were pretty devastating. So if they're revealing the game this year, they're probably pretty close to the finish line. I still think the people saying the game is dropping in uh, 2024, myself included, are optimistic. I'm going to put that out there, okay? 2025, probably pretty solid time frame, but I still think there's a chance holiday 2024, especially since full production reportedly only started in 2019. I don't know. That's what, four, five, six years in the oven? GTA 6 is likely going to be the biggest game launch of all time. GTA 5 is currently the second best selling game ever made, and it continues to sell millions of copies every single year. So let me know. Do you believe these reports? Give me your best prediction on the reveal date or reveal month. Give me your reveal month. I'm going to predict... I'm going to say it's revealed uh, in June. And then also give me your prediction on launch date. I'm going to say holiday 2024. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you soon.